Hello, welcome back to the workshop. It's fantastic to have you here again. Now, I get a lot of video requests. People ask me to make all sorts of things, but there is not a single thing that has been requested as much as Jelly Roll Damascus. So today, we're gonna try some Jelly Roll Damascus. I really hope you enjoy. Now, my whole understanding of what, what Jelly Roll Damascus is, is it's where we take our two different steels. Now, of course, I use 15 and 20 and 1080 steel for my Damascus. You weld it together, you draw it out into a long bar, and then you roll it up, and then weld that together, and theoretically you have a pattern that spirals. So we're gonna see how that goes. Usually I stack my billets kind of with an alternating layer count. Here, instead, what I'm doing is I'm going 1, 2, 3, 1080, 1, 2, 3, 15, and 20, 1, 2, 3, again, 1080. The reason being, I think this is gonna look best with a really bold, bold pattern. Now time to put this in the fire. So the forge is nice and hot. I'm going to be holding this in a pair of tongs. I'm going to open up the bricks and put it in there. And I'm not going to heat it all the way up to a forge welding temperature yet. I forge welded before without flux. However, it worked well, but I've always been told to use flux. So rather than experimenting and failing, I figure keep it safe. I'm going to use some flux on this. One of my big concerns about this is you see all of this, that's iron oxide, we call it scale. The trouble is, that's not the steel that we want in there. And if I bring this up to a welding heat and I try to weld it and that's inside, that's going to form an inclusion. That can be a really big problem and it can cause the weld to fail. So I'm trying to dump it out as often as I can. Hitting on the sides often kind of freeze a little bit in there. And then as I roll it up, it seems to want to fall out of there. I'm gonna be forge welding it on the Pilkington power hammer again. I'm a little nervous about how to forge weld this exactly because there's no, like a normal weld where you have them stacked like this, you hit down, all the weld surfaces are getting hit. Where it's a spiral, you hit down, it's actually pushing out one of these weld surfaces. What I think I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to roll it as I forge weld it in the direction of the wrap and work really super, super gently just to try and get it stuck. Hopefully, it welds. Hopefully, there's not too many inclusions in it. Hopefully, this works beautifully. struggling a huge amount right now to get this to weld. Uh, I tried the first heat, but that end piece just would not weld. It just kind of kept popping back up as we went around to that one other side. So I cut it off, kept trying to weld it again, but it's super difficult. Keeps wanting to try and come undone on me, and I just gotta keep putting it back together. Every heat I'm fluxing it back to the forge, getting it super, super hot, and just working it. I think the trick is gonna be to just keep working it and working it and working that weld for a really long time. It's gonna be a smaller billet than I'd like, but it's probably gonna be the only way to get this to work. We'll see. <laughs> I think I've got it welded. 
We'll see. So it's finished forged. Is it solid? Are there inclusions? I don't know. We'll find out. I'm not gonna grind it. I'm gonna grind both faces and we're gonna put it in the acid. It's a lot smaller than it started. <laughs> I'm just super, super pleased with how this came out. After a lot of welding, and a lot of failed attempts at welding, and even more failed attempts at welding, and after finally getting it together, I actually have some Jelly Roll Damascus. That's, that's awesome. There was a good period there where I thought that this was going to be a video with fail and bold. Turns out it wasn't. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I would love to hear what you want me to make out of this little piece of Jelly Roll Damascus tomorrow. So leave a comment below. If you're new to the channel, go check out some of my other videos. Be sure to subscribe because I'm going to see you tomorrow on the very next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.